Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. And today, um, you're probably wondering why it looks a little bit different behind me. Well, I've got my gaming setup, and normally I've got my boxes there. And so now some of my big cupboard is gone, so I have more space to film now, and I can have a nice um, place to sit and a good chair to sit on because it's more comfortable. And I like sitting here more, so you'll see me do videos like this in the future. Oh yeah, so today we're just going to be um, reviewing a Micropix projector. And of course, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this again. Well, it's because I only made a short and um, I didn't really want to make it. Like, I don't want to make another video because I really had no toys. So I just wanted to make a video, a full showcase on the Picopix projector. And um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. So you might be wondering how like this, so I don't think I showed you the box to you guys because I only showed you the actual projector on the short that I made. Um, but yeah, so this projector is made by Philips. They are a good brand of technology and other stuff. Um, and all in all, this is a great projector. Like the way it's, the way it's packaged and the way it's, it's about to pull up. The way it's the way it's packaged and like um, the way it's set out, it's really neat and I like it. Um, it's got LED DLP. That's the LED, and then the true resolution is 480p. Um, on my wall, which is I don't know if you guys can see, but it's right there. That wall. It um. So that's why I shine it on, and it's pretty good. Like if you're in a dark room. Um, with the lights off, it is so good to watch a movie. It almost looks like a movie screen. So since with the interrogated battery, you have to charge it. It takes three hours. It lasts for three hours. Uh, there's a mini HDMI that comes with this projector. And you plug it into your laptop or if you have a connector and you plug it into that and plug it into your iPad. Um, sadly though, you can you have to use an Apple connector. You know those connectors and then they plug into your iPad? Well, you can only use an Apple one for this one. They've updated it and you cannot use any one because we've got a different one before and they it never worked because on this thing it says Apple. It has the Apple logo. So which is you have to buy an Apple one, it's really expensive. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so 70 hey guys, um, I bet you've units. noticed my um, uh, skeleton t-shirt. Uh, I um, just I got it that um, in my short too. And last I was time. wondering it's got if a you guys went to Okay, back to the video. Built in LED light. Um, and it's it's pretty good. Like for what how small it is, it's pretty good. So let's talking about this and let's open it. Um, the H the, the charger, the HDMI cord is right there. The remote, it's because we're in the remote. So this is the remote. So as you can see, it's got a few different buttons and it's got the settings, the power, and it's got all home and you can control the projector from this remote. You've also got your Philips projector. I showed this in the other video got your buttons at the back so you can also you can either use the remote or the projector button so you've got the on you've got the down up and I believe that is the return and it just looks so compact and nice for you to watch a movie with like, like and then there's a fan and then there's like rubber grips on the bottom that you can like you want move and with the um this little screwing thing that actually means that you can there's a stand that you can buy with it doesn't come with it um, and then you can even just stand it on your desk like anywhere and then it'll shine and you don't have to make your own stand which I make my own stand with a few box and then I just make it with this plastic thing I literally just put the plastic thing under it and it raises it up so it's more good and um, yeah, so that's the whole projector itself. And then this is the HDMI cable. So what we've got with this is we've got the big one that connects into your computer. And we've got this one, which connects into the projector. So that's the HDMI cable and nothing really interesting about that. But we've also, this last thing we've got is a charging cable so this plugs into whatever usb um device you have a charger 
on this side obviously it's simply plugs into your projector and how you charge it is you've got these uh, USB I don't know if you guys can see you have that USB at the back and you plug this side in to there and with the HDMI cable you can see that it's got um, this mini HDMI and that goes right in there so that just plugs in as we're going to your computer um but yeah so that is all in the box and quick start guide it's right here so you've got a quick start guide it just basically tells you how to start the thing up and i'll show you guys what you actually need when i said the apple device you need this it's on the back no it's here oh yeah so you need this so it says apple and it says on the instructions apple lightning digital av adapter so you have to have an apple one and it might be small but that is what you need and you don't you can't use anything else you can't use a different brand a cheaper brand you have to use apple um that's what probably goes for an apple device um since i have one and so and on this side here i must i forgot to tell you guys there's these um there's this like little rod here it's like a little gear kind of thing and when you turn that it makes the resolution more clear like if when you start the projector it might be blurry every time you just kind of move this thing around and play with it and just kind of tell like where like how clear it is and how blurry it is um obviously you want your movie clear so you can just tick that and that'd be fine yeah so that's basically it for this video um it, it's philip and yeah so the connectivity is the connect source hdmi it's basically like a tv um and all of it is just like so compact and nice like even if you look like at the top it's so clean and smooth i just really love how they made this projector i, I kind of i don't know if this is a sensor or not but it's not a button it's like a little black thing comment down below if you guys know what that is because it doesn't say on the, instru the, the instructions um and how you know it's, if it's charging or if it's on there's a little um blue and red so when it's when it's charging as you can see it's charging that'll light up red and once when, when it's on it should be blue so when it's blue that how you, that's how you know it's on and charging is red so once it goes off i think that means it's done and you can charge up the projector and i just love it so much and i use it quite a bit because i can watch it in my room and not just the tv it's more fun anyway guys so that that is um the end of this video if you want more subscribe to this video um if you want more subscribe to my channel um i did not upload in a while and i know um i just didn't i just didn't feel like it but now i made this video on my projector and i'm happy hey guys um press the subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos and i might upload next week um but yeah just subscribe, subscribe and please because I really want to grow my channel and make it good, powerful, so and do more of these tech so do more of these tech reviews for you guys and show you guys what they do so you can buy some. Bye guys, see you in the next one.